Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and welcome to another midterm study vlog. I have three weeks of midterms coming up and because this semester is shorter, I only have one midterm for each course, which means they're weighted more heavily. The pressure is that much higher. So right now I'm actually headed to main campus to get some studying done. I'm gonna be doing anatomy and pharmaceutics, which were my hardest courses last year. And I just wanna be prepared for the midterm. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Also, this is my outfit today. I just did like a half braid, half pony with my hair because whenever it's dirty, I want it out of my face. And I got this skirt from Korea and I thrifted this top, no necklace today. What I actually wanna show you guys is look at my nails. Look how grubby they look. I feel like a five-year-old child. But anyways, yesterday I literally peeled off all my nails and that's why now I have none. Okay, and let's get studying. is gorgeous so pretty hi guys so i'm just at starbucks right now and i'm grinding out my anatomy onki deck because my midterm is worth 25 percent and it is in a one week from now and i really need to get my act together so this is really ambitious but i want to finish with one unit today i did like 40 slides yesterday so i have one left but it's only 2 45 p.m so i have so much time to get down this unit and then hopefully i'll be good for the rest of the week in terms of my schedule exam is at 9 a.m. tomorrow but I'm just vibing right now. Hunter Hunter is on TV right now. I'm going through my respiratory onki and I was feeling kind of down earlier and I was talking to a kid and he uber eats me. Chung chung. I was not expecting this at all. I'm just gonna eat one right now because like it's like a comfort food. He was also saying that if he was here then this is like what we would have done anyways so. Hi guys, good morning. It's around 10.30 right now and I actually just finished my first practical lab exam for the term and I think it went really well actually. Now I'm just headed over to main campus because I need a tuberculosis test and I'm just going to study there for the rest of the day. It's where I was with Daisy a few days ago. But before we head over, I just want to give a huge shout out to Honey for sponsoring this portion of the video. Honey is an online shopping tool that is compatible with all your favorite websites and storefronts and best of all, it's completely free. You can simply install it with two clicks and it works for things that you're already buying on websites that you're already shopping on. When you reach the Checko page, all you have to do is click on the little orange button and then Honey will come up. We'll automatically scan the internet to find all the applicable codes and coupons that you can use for your order. As you guys know, I read a lot of books, but because I've been slammed with midterms and I will be for the next few weeks, browsing and shopping for books online has honestly just been the move. I've also been doing a little bit of retail therapy. So with Honey, I can just secure the best possible prices for all my purchases and more so now than ever just like as a grad student. So Honey definitely serves as my favorite tool to enhance my shopping experience online. And so if you guys are like me and you're always looking for a really good deal, then you can go to the link on screen and in the description box below. It's joinhoney.com slash Brianna and happy shopping. Okay, Sam left, but now I am just studying in E7 by myself. And these really cool chairs, they like move. 
but anyways i'm going to do my anki cards good morning guys i had such a busy wednesday yesterday i didn't even vlog anything but i had a whole day of classes and then intramurals in the night we did not win i didn't talk to you guys about spin class on tuesday it was literally so fun i love exercising to music i actually know but anyways i was too tired to go to my 10 a.m today so again i'm just doing my anki cards and actually cleaning up my apartment at the same time because it is just a mess from all this exam prep okay i just changed back into my pajamas because there is no way that i was going to clean the apartment for the next hour in normal clothes i feel like whenever i'm home i just have to be comfortable so we're gonna do the dishes and just reorganize all the spices that i have going on at the top of the fridge because i also feel like i'm scrambling a little bit in the kitchen and cooking is supposed to be therapeutic and stress relieving and i like stress bake all the time and it would just be more helpful if everything was organized so we're gonna do that Okay guys, so I got home a couple of hours ago actually and I just made dinner, I made chicken noodle soup and I've been watching Violet Evergarden and doing my Anki as usual and I've just been studying for anatomy. I finally moved on from respiratory and I'm on the blood unit now but I'm actually gonna take a break and make a bone broth for tomorrow. This is supposed to be a chicken broth because I'm making one ton and dumplings from scratch with Haley and Janice. It's my first time making dumplings like without my parents so I'm really excited and I wanna make the broth for tomorrow so then it can like really like deepen the flavor and stuff like that. So I went grocery shopping today and I have a bunch of bones that I'm going to wash and then double boil just to like get rid of any impurities and stuff like that and like all the fat. So I'm gonna wash it with some lemon in the sink right now and then add onion and carrot and just try to keep it light because it is supposed to be a chicken broth, but this is oxtail. I'm just gonna do a pork and shrimp filling. So add dried fungi to it, but I couldn't find any today. So it's gonna be super simple. In here, I have the ground pork, the shrimp that I tried to smash, but I don't have a like butcher's knife to like flatten it out properly, and then chicken powder, salt, and pepper for now. I made a little weird. This is the one. look at it. Yeah, that's I cute. Thought it was <laughs> oh, very good. Good job, Teresa. <laughs> okay, this is our model. One touch. <laughs> we are. Really, this is this really is Haley's. I think it's rat view. Wrong continent, but it's okay. Uh, we'll figure it out. Hi guys, I'm in a little bit of a rush because I'm about to join my friend Alexandra's Subtle Asian Book Club Con. It's an online book club conference and I'm going to be speaking on a panel about healing your inner reader and stuff like that. And I'm really excited. I'm just a little bit anxious, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. You guys know I love reading. I love books and just sharing my reviews with you. So I'm going to join and I'll check in after. I'm just gonna make a really quick breakfast because I wanna go head out and study at the farm school. I'm just gonna have herb garlic cream cheese on toast with some smoked salmon that I bought recently.
meal prepping Japanese curry again because it's so easy and we have midterms really soon. And we're also making beef taco bowls. And then I'm also gonna make a homemade salsa. Hi guys, good morning. I have a spin class right now. I'm just in another workout set. This one's from Set Active. I'm heading out to my spin class that's in like 20 minutes. You guys know I'm not a morning person, but it's super early because I want to keep studying for my midterm, which is tomorrow. So I'm gonna make a quick breakfast, make my bag, and we're gonna head out. Okay, I just got back from my spin class and I'm gonna take a really quick shower because I do need to study for the midterm tomorrow. <laughs> I have simplified my skincare routine ever since summer came around. I just used these two products by Toradin. This one's literally almost empty. And so is this cream. I need a refill really soon. Just because I've been using it so much, I feel like it's made such a difference in my skin. I, I haven't been having any breakouts or like hives. It's such a game changer for me. This is the Dive-In Serum, which is like a hyaluronic acid. Anyways, in terms of school, I feel like this semester has been way lighter, at least for anatomy, which is what I'm studying for right now. I feel like the content is a lot easier, a lot more digestible. I just feel like I'm more in the groove of things and I have like a system going in terms of studying and meal prep and like working out You know, just like having my life together a few weeks ago I was kind of in shambles because my mental health was at an all-time low, but now I'm feeling better I actually recently got back into therapy and let me tell you guys about this You guys probably know how therapy works, but let me just explain this First of all, I have requested a female therapist and usually they're really good with that. So this is my first male therapist and tell me why he said so many questionable things. I've done therapy with a psychiatrist. I've seen a regular therapist with better help and tell me why this guy's advice about being sad was, well, have you tried not being sad? Like, I had was speechless. I had I didn't even know how to like continue the conversation because I already knew like 20 minutes in that this was not going to work out. But it was an hour long session, so there was that. And then I was talking about like falling below average in certain assessments. He goes, "Well, maybe your classmates are just smarter." And he's like, "And that's a hard pill to swallow." And it's like, "You don't think I know that?" I thought I felt like that was questionable because I was like, "Why would you say that when I am literally going to you about academic stress?" And the whole point is that you're supposed to give me coping mechanisms and like help me feel better. So I had to switch therapists. I think I'm probably gonna go back to the therapist that I had before just because she knew me really well and even though we fell off in terms of like sessions because I got really busy and I was traveling a bunch I feel like I don't want to start scratch with someone like this it was like a really bad experience and I felt like shit afterwards it felt worse than when I had started so okay so it's like 11 o'clock right now my hair is still drying I'm just going to assemble my meal prep right now I meal prepped curry and a taco bowl and like chicken stir fry yesterday so I'm just gonna do the taco bowl because that's what I want to eat, so I'm just gonna grab everything right now. This isn't traditional meal prep because it's supposed to be like all assembled already, but for taco bowls, I feel like they like get stale or they get soggy over time, so it's just better to do it the day of. So this is what I have going on. It's actually really simple. The only thing that took effort was this salsa, which looks even better the next day. Okay, and this is my meal prep for the day. This is a lactose-free cheese, which I am so glad that I got. Oh, it doesn't even matter because I have fucking normal sour cream. This is my meal prep for lunch.